peace, all glory. Blessed be the glory of your God. Blessed be the righteousness of your God. Blessed be his will. All glory given to the Most High Yah. Now, when I was looking at this, this is a consensus of what they believe to be the United States population in a year of like 2040, it could be like 2040, 2045, but you see the population and the, the, the more darker, darker skin tones that you see in it. Now, from what the prophecy said, it said that white people would be scarce of number to where God is going to only leave a remnant of what that number is of the so-called white people who live here in America. Yes, I said it, and I said it just like that. A lot of people, they get mad at me because they'd be like, oh, well, you're being racist. And family, I didn't create the heavens and the earth. I, I, I don't have the power over your soul. With my speech, I'm not going to try to kill you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to bring you back to life. So I don't even got those type of powers. I'm not God, family. I am not. And no shape, form, or fashion. But what I do know is that his word is stay true. So a remnant. Now in prophecy, it was said that God would do things to white people that has never been done before. Now we as black people, we seen AIDS and you know the curse that was on us. God said that he would give us curses and diseases that come out of the earth that nobody has ever seen ever. Now, as a black man, I know the history of my people, and I know all the horrible lynchings, all the rape, all the shootings. Why you got to shoot the black person a thousand times? They, my, they died. My grand, great grand people, they died after the, like, the first or seventh time. You, you shot them a thousand times. Why are you drowning them, killing their children, doing all kinds of stuff to them? Um... Uh, that was prophesied to us, and that happened to us. But then God, he said that he's going to do to white people things that has never been done before. We know about all the horrible things. Our children's being fed to alligators. Our people being shot with bullets and arrows and cut to pieces. Uh, where, where is it? Hanged on trees. Set up... Uh, Put my people in a, in a building and set them on fire. They done did all them horrible things to us. Families that can't protect themselves. People that needed their government to be there for them. That had no one and nothing to defend themselves and their lives and their family members and their descendants. We didn't have none of that stuff. We were terrorized by uh, the KKK members and the white supremacist groups in this country. We were deprived from all the local and principalities of government in any city of any state that's in the great country of America. So I don't understand. God said he would do things to the people who enslaved our people more worse than he did to anybody. That is something that is unexplainable to me. But at the same time, you got to understand, I'm, I'm walking with God. He can, he can say all the things that he liked to me. But the things that I say to him is unbelievable because I don't believe him. Now, a long time ago, family, the great God of the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that hanged the heavens and the sky, that put the earth right here in this foundation to where we can walk around and enjoy everything that we have. He came to me and told me at one point in my life that I would feel sorry for white people. I can't imagine inside of myself a time to where I would ever feel sorry for white people. And then look what the prophecy is, family. Look what happens in the prophecy. I, I'll let all my brothers and sisters know that I'm, not, I'm never, ever, ever going to forget all the horrible things that was done to my people in this country. But then at the same hand, I will never forget the disrespectful things that my people did to get here. 
all glory be given to Yah.